not live now. Hello, everybody. Why are we work? I'm Leah. Laura. And together we are hot, hot chicken. chicken. Well, that was we weird. had a little false start because I didn't. There's a. I'm getting used to this program. Yes, you are. There was an extra step I didn't complete. Mm. She didn't complete didn't it. Didn't complete the step. My baby. So welcome everybody. Parker's here. The boyfriend. Arthur. Laura's babysitting. We're at the waffle maker's house. I love him. Hello, Teresa. She will never stop calling her the waffle maker. Mm -mm. Her name is Chris. Sorry, it's just like Cheryl Rafferty. Yeah, you have to say her last you name. You have to say, <laughs> hi, Pierce. Hey, hey. Well, hello. Hello, Smitty. Happy Friday. It's Friday. And Carl G is in the house. Yeah, How's everybody? Hello. Happy Friday, Carl's wishing everybody. Oh. So, yeah, we're at uh, the alternative location. Right. I'm, I'm playing. Come here, I've got come three other dogs here, here, too, besides my boyfriend. But he's just my boyfriend. And one of them just bit me. But that's well, okay. It was my fault. I warned her, and she, she kept thinking... She, the, the dog is a really sweet dog. I think, and it's it's adopted. I'm pretty sure. I think and in his his past, he must have been Hello, abused. Alice, because she, they're she. Yeah, they're they're all girls. This is the only boy. Yeah, but anyway, because she Baby. she like Baby. she's fine when you pet her, but if you get her a little like off guard or something, well, she or more. I think she didn't like being picked up. Yeah, Leah I, was and I'm thinking her. there's something that is hurting her the poor little girl and she bit me but that's okay i've bled out <laughs> shars here shars in the house she made oh, it Teresa, smitty i'm gonna put down here put down baby yeah right. yeah dogs We're having yeah. a little wine for saint patty's day yeah char made it she's healed mm -hmm. yep Anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day weekend, everybody. Does anybody have any wild plans? We've got dogs here that we have whiskey and Bailey. Sounds yes. very Irish to me. And it was meant to be, mm -hmm. Carl G. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're, we're going to have a good weekend, and I hope you do too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we had a good week. When I left here last Friday... Yeah, I told you I went to a fabulous new restaurant near my home. Oh, yes. I was so excited. She was talking about those great fries. I they couldn't made. get over it. The spices. We went back. Not so great. Sad. You know, that usually I, happens. I don't get upset easily by people uh, like at restaurants, like at experiences. I'm very to tolerant of. Things. That she is. She's more tolerant than I. Yeah, because you're a server. But <laughs> this was so, hmm, so off the mark. I just, I couldn't. Well, first of all, we walked in and they were full. And I was like, I know it was so disappointing, Smitty. I was going to take you there. Now I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we might have to find another place, mm -hmm. which we have found one that we love for breakfast. But anyway, Two chicks go on. and lunch, I'm sure, is just as Oh, I'm sure. It's good. So we went, we um, stood at the door and nobody came out to seat us. So I thought, well, it's a bar and grill. Maybe we're just supposed to seat ourselves. It was full. Wait a second. You were outside the restaurant and nobody no, came no, out? No, no, no. We to... were inside oh. at the podium. Okay. I thought she meant out outside. At the podium we were. You mean nobody joined the podium to say hello. To hello. You. Okay. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. So at any rate, comes tomorrow cleaning and, uh, oh, good. Yes. Good, Char. Um, anyway, no, nobody came. We stood there for about five, ten minutes. I want to say ten minutes, but reality wasn't really, I don't. It I felt, don't whatever it was, it relative. felt like ten so minutes. It felt like ten. So finally I said, well, let's just sit over here. There was a high top available. The restaurant was packed, but there was one high top available, which we normally as older people don't sit in a, at a high top. Well, especially your husband. I don't, especially yeah, I don't know how not, he could do that. He was not comfortable with that. Anyway, so we we'll sat start down. off on the wrong foot. Well, what felt like another 10 or 15 minutes. 
uh, finally somebody came over and took our order, which was fine. And our drink order, we got our, we ordered water and a, and a Wayne ordered a Pepsi or Coke or whatever they And had. what did you order? Water. No, and then what did you order for? Oh, you haven't. And then we, we ordered our meal. I ordered some chicken tenders and fries because the fries were to die for. And Wayne ordered a BLT. Very simple. Very That's the usual thing you buy in a yeah, restaurant. Yeah, really. very, very simple bar and grill food, you know. So anyway, time went by and she had warned us it might be a bit of a delay because they had one cook. And the place was busy. When mm -hmm. I say busy, there's probably nine tables total. Oh, so it's that small? It's small. I mean, there's so room for more, but they, they spaced them out. Yeah, because they're, they're new. So we ordered. Um, and then in an amount of time where you would have considered our food should be coming, mm -hmm. she came back, the waitress, and said, what did you order again? <laughs> and I'm like, mm, well, he ordered the BLT, I ordered the chicken dinners and fries. Okay, fine. And then she's flipping through her book of tickets. Oh, here it is. Obviously, not in the cook. You know, hands. in her defense, now, okay. I'm going to put it out her. there. It's a brand new restaurant, and there's nine tables and all the stuff she has to do. And maybe she's a there new two of them. A new waitress. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just, I mean, I'm not saying she's right. <laughs> Just well, said, no. and I was giving benefit of the doubt of course, as well because she could have had anything happen to her. She could have got a phone call from her babysitter. You don't know. No, but anyway, right? Not things that should happen. Not things that should happen. So anyway, okay, fine. We this is what we ordered. We still we sat there. It was all good. A few minutes later, another waitress comes by with food that <laughs> wasn't ours. Did you order the cordon bleu? No, we did not order that. Um, did you get honest. a look at it though? I looked. Did it look good? I did. You know, I didn't examine it too closely. I would have said I, yes. <laughs> you know, right. So better than chicken strips. She proceeded to go table to table until she found the rightful owners of the cordon. Oh my! And then that's you. Oh, it's not again. Mine. You think this is it? <laughs> well, it's a matter of five ten minutes later, the original waitress came back to ask us again what we ordered. So this is time number three. Okay. Okay. Wow. This happened wow. two more times. However, she assured me that the, the cook had our order, but she asked again. Right. Now we're into this fiasco and having conversations with other patrons. This is a problem of the restaurant uh, 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 management mm -hmm. and training. Mm -hmm. They didn't train before. Right. And they had one chef last time that she said they made a mention that they had a, oh, a, a Belgian chef. chef a Belgian was... chef. So chef this time. Kiss. Yeah. And the first he time must we have went quit. With, <laughs> must have or something. Mm. Anyway, go ahead about the food. So the food finally shows up. Wayne got his BLT and his fries. I got my chicken tenders, but no fries, which I had specifically ordered. How are your chicken tenders served? In a bowl. <laughs> With a sprig of also, lettuce. Also, let me just say. Well, no, they were the in The dishwasher bowl. quit, too. Something. Yes, they both quit. <laughs> Jeff. And, and the dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Lobo Bob, Lobo Lo Bob. Yes, hi, how are you? Anyway, so I said, I did order fries as well. And she goes, oh, well, let me check on that. You would think that as many times as they asked you. They would know. They would remember that it was a simple, simple. BLT and fries and, and chicken, chicken strips. strips and fries. So just saying. Yeah. Oh, Kathy, hi. Welcome. So uh, Kathy says see you too. she uh, waited tables when she was in a college. When college, she would uh, have nightmares like this. Right. This is like I could go on and on and about on the nightmares about about the waitress nightmares. I mean, I still have them, and it's been it's been oh, I don't know, eight years or seven years since I've done it. Yeah. 
but I did it all my life. So therefore I've got lingering dreams, lingering dreams, stress dreams. So I look at Wayne's food and I notice that the fries that I loved so much from the previous visit were not even close to what they were on the previous visit <laughs> or <laughs> as pictured on their menu or on their I Facebook think they page. went down to the store because they ran out. I'm thinking you. Thinking I mean, you are really, right. Ms. Lobobob, manager should have given them a pad of paper and pen, perhaps. They did have a pad of paper and pen. Well, that's not good. And I, I'm going to tell you, I have never waited on a table. I, you know, so, but I could have done better. Because even if my manager she thinks she could have done, I better. could have done better because I would have come up with my own system of <laughs> organization. That's probably their problem. Everybody has their own system. Well, I would have put on the ticket. This is table one, table two, two. Now, even if the tables didn't have official numbers in my, you would know what they were. I would know what they. Yeah, were. it's just like when you take a, a, a an order at a table of right. twenty. You go around and you put the people right. together, numbered. Together, right. I would, even if they're across the table. Right. And I would have. Yeah. Then I you know where it goes. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Yes. So anyway, this, Wayne, so she said she would check on the fries. I noticed they weren't the same fries. I tasted one of Wayne's and I'm like, oh God, these are not the same. These are like if I was at Denny's or something, which weren't bad. I'm not saying they were like, but they were. Ah, they not, weren't. That was the reason why you went That's back. That's why I went back. You know, when you go for something that they made the first time really good and oh, go back Oh my gosh. It. Come right. on, people. Make them the same. Right? Consistency. Or say we're out of fries tonight. We are not. We're these serious, aren't the normal sorry. ones we, we've been serving. We can and get you these, or we could get you a potato salad. Yeah. So when she else. said she would check on the fries, Wayne asked for ketchup or something. I don't know. And so she came back with that. And she, she again, so she goes, well, I'll, I, you know, those fries should be out soon. Well, then she came back to the table again and they were not oh. being delivered. And by the third time she came back, I told her, cut the fries. No Just fries. Take them off the, take them off the bill. This was in total. A two-hour experience. <laughs> By the time we got through the door, ordered eight, and then I she brought the bill. I paid the bill. Wrote. I really struggled for a while with the tip because it was bad, and it wasn't the cook's fault. You know, like I can say, if the waitress is coming back and going, the kitchen informing, really not lying and, or omitting. Right. Be honest. Be honest. I would not take it out on her, mm -hmm. on her tip. But when you've asked me five times what yeah. my order is, how old was she? She was probably in her forties, maybe thirties, late thirties, forties. I always err on the top side of like maybe she has has. Is, a memory a trouble. Uh, me. <laughs> I don't know. I Maybe don't that know. was her first day. But, <laughs> okay, so I struggled. I always, at least, even if it's not good service, tip 20%. Mm -hmm. If you're good, I will go 25 to 30%. Wow, well, I'm coming I to do. you. I do. I am a good tipper, people. I'm going to her section. I tipped her the bill. I tipped her... Five dollars on a yeah, that was 30. kind of like a penny. Yeah, maybe two dollars would have been better. I couldn't, I just <laughs> couldn't. I was like, mm, right? Three strikes. Yeah. Well, and that I'm so then I settled the bill, I wrote the tip, then she came comes back. The same waitress? Because we had asked for a box. Okay. Oh. Did she get the box? She got the well, I asked one girl. We didn't get the box. I asked our waitress, and and I said I did ask her for a box. I don't know if <laughs> <laughs> make sure she doesn't go get be a box. You yeah, get the box, right? Whatever. Okay. So yeah. So then she said after I've paid the bill, and she's picked it up from the table after. Would you like dessert? After I've already paid the bill, and I said Wayne goes, well, what do you have? I said no. No. She forgot what you looked like. She thought you, she didn't even know who you were. Mm. 
Mm. I, I gave them check. I brought their credit card back. Right. I, I closed it out now. I would you like dessert? Would you like dessert? <laughs> and Wayne's like, what do you have? And she's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, oh, no, no, no. We're done. We've paid the bill. <laughs> We've paid the bill. I am not doing it. Carl but, says you're very kind and you are. I, I, mm, I was very kind and I didn't get rude, but I'm like, no, no, we do not. And Wayne's like, well, maybe I'm and like, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And so. sure prompt service. And that's true. When I was working with the Olive Garden, mm -hmm. I had a, a table. It was a, a business thing. And one guy, it was like after work. So they were all sitting in the back, you know. He calls me over. He says, "He says now I was shocked. Here's a twenty. If you give me coffee, that whenever I need, whenever you see I might need coffee, make sure it's hot and fill it up." And so, damn it, he gave me the twenty, and then they paid. Damn it. right. Yeah, I brought it back. You know, I made sure. But Would I always you forget? did. Forget? I never forget. No. And and you're. I not mean, gonna... it just felt like I had to walk around a coffee pot every time I walked around. Because he was like, I like my coffee. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I pictured it. I pictured him in my mind. I picture him now in my mind with a cigar, you know. I want my coffee and I want it hot. Yeah. There's a 20 in it for you. <laughs> I'm just saying. And that, I mean, I am like, I'm a good tipper. We go on a cruise. So what, a now my, tipper. my question is for you now. Or for everybody. Um, this was the second visit to the restaurant. Okay, my question is, would you return knowing what you know and seeing both things? Would you give it a third try and then three strikes? I, yes, I would give it another try. What I would like to do is go back. We went the first time on a Thursday mm -hmm. where the manager was there on a Thursday. She was not there Friday, last Friday when we went. I would like to go back on a Thursday when I think she will be there mm. and have a like a legit conversation with her. Right. And that just makes say, sense. you know, we because this is like a, a neighborhood restaurant. We have no neighborhood. It seriously restaurants. is. It's like it's right in the middle. It's right in the middle of the neighborhood. You right. Know? And I yeah want to love them and I want it to be good and I want them to succeed. Yeah. So yes, I would. And I would have a conversation with the manager and just say, I I'd like to be a fly on a that good wall. time Thursday when we came and the fries were so good, but this was our experience the last time. And I hate to see that. So we'll come along. You can I will. will. Yeah, it has to be on on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Well, no, then it has to be on Friday, I guess. Thursday evening. True. Yeah. After I go yeah. drop off my pens, I could do that. I mean, in this situation where it was so ex exceptional the one time. Yeah. And then so unacceptable the next time. It's like, yeah, I want to give you an opportunity to know, and I. I want to, I, I just, I, yeah. 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 I would definitely give them another shot. I would give them. I might wait a couple weeks. Third time's a charm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I, I wrote a review and I said, I told them the ex my experience the first time and then the second time. And I said, I really, I really want to love you guys. And there was somebody else that had written a review and I'm sure he was there the same night we were there. Because I did see people walk out and they said, well, we, we don't know about the food because we did never got so waited on. So we left. So oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. That, um, well, I just, it's an awesome spot. Although I think the location is hard for people to know, unless you actually live in the unless area. Unless you live in the neighborhood. Right. Because it's behind the gas station. Um, yeah. Sure. You probably know. On Micah Drive. On Micah, and it's behind where the vet is. Where the, the, the yeah, the Chevron station. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. If you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't go there. No, you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost impossible to see unless you are going there. Yeah, so. I would go back. 
But you know, if you if you want to go and talk to him, I mean, if you feel yeah. that strongly about I it, I will. Yeah. You know, I will. But I went on their Facebook page and I and I spoke of my experience. Hopefully, both time and the hopefully it time. wasn't snide. It was well, I <laughs> a little snide, maybe a. No, because I said I really want to love this. Find it. Let's look at it. No, I mean on the thing. You can share it. Yeah. I can, yes. <laughs> Never mind. But I can't log into Facebook for some reason on this computer. Well, now that's just weird. I know. I don't know. Anyway, it was not I'm not a mean person. So I'm like, ah, don't ever come back here, you know. But I tell my story, that's all. Right. You know, it's like the bread is too salty. It's too salty. The bread. Yeah. This is what I always heard at Olive Garden. It's well, not always, but a lot. More than yeah. twice. <laughs> More than twice I heard it. And it's ingrained it's in her too, brain. Everywhere I go, everything's too something. It's just too, it's too hot. <laughs> right, Lobo right, Bob Bob? says that she'll be the judge if it's snide. I'm yeah, you know, I, that's I true. It. I think we should find it and she can read it to us and she yeah. thinks she can't share it with us. No, no, you don't have to say just kidding. No, you don't have to. No, you do not. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Because these things, and this is, Mo knows, Miss Smitty knows. She knows about it being too swalty. Okay. There um, it is. I want to hear it. That, I hope you can I read? Can I read it so you can't yes, skip over I things? I can't skip over things. She's checking just to yeah, make sure. There it is. Okay, good. Now the opening might be a bit. Okay. Okay. Hope you all get it together. Came two weeks ago and had a lovely meal. Great food, great service, and was excited to come back. We returned the following Friday to a panic to a packed house. Well, also a panicked house. It <laughs> was panicked. Right. Yes, we want you to succeed. However, the food was way off and the servers were either new or just incompetent. Okay, I find that insulting. Okay. After I was asked five times what my order was, and it's still being wrong, I she's reading finally said, <laughs> all right, I'll read it nicely. Okay. I finally settled for less than what I ordered. And what happened to the food in a week? We loved the fries, and they weren't even close to the same. I can't help but read it snide. Okay, we'll read it snide. We, we loved the fries, and they weren't even close to the same fries we were served the first time. I was so sad and disappointed. Well, I'm spending a lot of money for these fries. We want to love you as you are in our neighborhood, and that, yes. We were there for two hour, and not because I we only hour. No, you said one hour. You said we were there for two hours. <laughs> okay, I have to edit my comment. And not because we were enjoying the experience, but because it took that long to get our food. Chicken tenders and a BLT. <laughs> not a five-course meal. Night and day experiences. Consistency is key. Please, we want to love you. I think, I think all in all, that's a B plus. Thank you. I think it's good. I need to say But hours. I was just like thinking, you know, it was a little snide oh, at did. first. Did they respond? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for everything, Leah. We are working out the kinks and getting more staff hired. We want you to love us too. Please give us another shot. How nice that they responded. That was good because I didn't get a notification of that. How nice. That's nice. I would go back. I wouldn't go back next week. No. But give, give it a couple. time to work out the kinks. Would you go back before we go on our vacation or would you wait till after? I will go back. Our vacation's in two weeks. And I'm having surgery, not next week, but the week after on my eyeballs. I like what Ms. Lobo Bob said. What did she say? She said, yes, it's very kind for a snide review. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. Yes. You know, you can be snide with a, a good side of nice. At the same time, if it's called for, that's what I think. 
We will like definitely. That. Oh, she's writing them back. Give it another, another try. Shot. <laughs> shot. She's she's doing it right now. Yes, um, response. I mean, they had to do it, or you know, other people read it too. Yeah. So yeah. So and I want to be fair. And I do want to, I said I would give them another shot. Okay. And the next question is if you go back in a couple of weeks and it's bad and it's just as bad, what are you going to do? Chopping off their heads. Wait six months and go back. No, I'm chopping off their heads. The previous restaurant that was in that, this is the third one that's gone in there because it's all a horrible, liked, horrible location. I liked the one that had the fireplace I'm outside. I'm telling you. And I told her that. Mm. I, you know, you, you know, know you yes. can't just go, oh, well, it was good, but it could have been better. No, it wasn't. It wasn't good. What? When they came to you, you know, after? I, yeah, I mean, no, before, I mean, it was, I can't, when I write something, I can't be, right, like, right, right, right. you know, right. Or do you take it seriously? So, right. But there was a bar and grill there. We went. We had a lovely time. The food was delicious. The service was always good. Always. But they didn't make it. No. Because it's just a bad location. And and for what they were doing there, they weren't advertising it enough. Because right. I thought they were doing um, karaoke. And, and it was Yeah, fun. and karaoke. And it just like had um, specialty type nights, which it was always crowded. But we it slowed down yeah. because they stopped advertising the it. The vibe was so good. Yeah. We would sit outside on a beautiful night, and it was just lovely. And she was saying the same thing that they want to expand and do specialty type nights and things like that and have outdoor seating when the weather gets right. better, blah, blah, blah. Ms. Lobo, Bob, yeah. the, the thing is, you know, it is really good, and they probably knew it. That's the whole thing. You know, their, their staff could have, like, quit within the first yeah. few days, and she had to, like, scramble to, to find new people to yeah. work. And that's really hard. And it could take a couple of weeks or more. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. But that's the thing. I mean, there are people that probably won't go come back, back, right? That didn't have a good ex one good experience and then a bad one. <laughs> Alice is not sure she's capable of combining snide with nice. Yeah, I don't I you know, when I said that, I knew that that wasn't gonna click. Because you can't be nice and be snide. Can you be nicely snide? <laughs> Maybe. You can be, res I guess you can be, res have constructive criticism. Without being snide. Without being snide. Unless and you I read it like it me. And I snide. <laughs> the opening statement was probably, get it together, people. <laughs> was a bit snide. I could have gone yeah. all day without that. But I was in the moment. We live in the neighborhood. I would start. Hi, We're we live neighbors. We live in the neighborhood. Hi, I'm real so close nice to, you. to meet you. We came in the first week, and this was such a great. And then the second week, not so much. I feel your your um, growing pains, um, growing pains, right? Yeah. So you know, we'll give you another shot since the last time was not we, wasn't that great. But we will come again in a couple of weeks. That's me. <laughs> Does that sound snide? No, it didn't. It was very good. I was saying keep going. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just, hmm. Hope you get it together, which is much nicer than get it together, people. I know, right? <laughs> what did you say? And yeah. I read that and didn't even like register in my oh, head. You were reading it snide. Uh, get it together, people. Do you want to come up? No, yeah, you're a scaredy girl. I want one of the new dogs to come up and meet you guys. We have we have right. whiskey, we have Hi, Bailey, baby. which you saw, oh, and we have um, Chloe. Back. She's back. Love, little Chloe. Pick her up because she's mean. I don't <laughs> think she's mean. She just come here. So that was a uh, anyway. that was a good long talk about the restaurant. <laughs> I thought. I mean, what well, y'all think? Nice a little nice. All opinions, and you I'm know? a rude bitch, and that's what it all comes down to. I, how how many? I know a couple of you said you had been servers before. 
I mean, it whiskey is a great dog name. It is, and it's a girl she that I really like. She, she did. She broke her skin. See, I was bleeding for a good time. She was. She went for me. It was my fault. Well, I told her, don't you know? You don't want to touch your belly. And here she is trying to pick her up. Well, yeah, and I because I think there's something wrong with her. Because oh. she's very sweet when you just pet her. When you just pet her, yeah. She can go Anyway, yeah. Um, I have done it all. Yeah, I, I just, um, I need. I, a, I, need I will give mouse. them another shot, and I will. The story will continue. Yeah. So I went this, to my pre-op today for my knee replacement. Let's talk old people things. Okay. I'm telling you, they called me and they were like, "We Why need to set up your pre-op," and I'm like. But I'm not going to have surgery till July. Well, it's good for six months. So, I mean, they are on top of it. So, I had an appointment today to go for my pre-op, which consisted of, but then she looks and she goes, oh, we have blood work from uh, last and year. I'm like, well, no, I've had blood work this year. She goes, but that's good for a year. I'm like, okay. It, isn't it 30 days? I, I, it's usually most places it's like within 30 days. 30 days. Want. That's what I thought. Free op work. So anyway, I went, I went per their instructions. And so they didn't want blood work. And I said, well, I'm going to be having more blood work for other doctors before all of this happens. So, so just give me the one I need. It's not listed on this list. <laughs> they did, you know, and they get to the medications and they're reading up. So you don't take, it says you're, you have a history of hypertension. You're not taking your blood pressure medication. I said, no, I'm not because every time I take my blood pressure or I come in to you or to anywhere, my blood pressure is very good. Right. And if I take my blood pressure medication, it's going to lower it too much. Now, have I discussed that with my primary care? No, but I will when I go in there. But since I have lost weight, it has changed my whole thing and my blood pressure. I am high, uh, Bumble the Bee. How are you? Or otherwise, CDC Vintage and Mechanical. Hello, hello. Yes, I'm Bumble. Well, it's just like Cheryl Rafferty. You'll always be Bumble. You'll and always Cheryl be Bumble. Cheryl Rafferty is Cheryl Rafferty, not Cheryl. Right. And Smitty is always Smitty's Mo. Mo. Yes, and that's just the way we roll. Anyway, so they did in, uh, my blood pressure, and she goes, oh, that's very good. I said, yes. <laughs> How many days have you not been taking it? For two months, you know. So, Yeah, exact dates of, of, Bumble says he doesn't know the exact dates of his education. I don't either. Do you know? No. Okay. What kinds of? Wow. Questions. What kind of questions? That, they want to know when you graduated. I don't know. You know, I know the year I graduated. I do too. I think I even know the day. I think it was oh, Friday no. the 13th, actually. No, I don't think I know. The 13th of June. I don't even remember how many people were in my class, but I remember it was over a thousand. We have a big, a big high school. We had a big high school. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So... Going for my pre-op, my blood pressure was good. My EKG was perfect. But she was like, she goes, so we either we either do your. Uh, what I do? Are you still there? <laughs> well, hell. Laura's lost you. Oh, it's behind. Get rid of that screen. Laura's uh -oh. lost you. Uh-oh. We're trying to find you. We'll get back. If you're there, we haven't forgotten you. <laughs> Laura has lost us. Uh, Let's see if we're still uh, streaming. <laughs> oh, okay. Stream studio. Okay. Okay. That's ought to be good. Are you still there? Are you still there? Wait, go down. Enter <laughs> studio. There we are. Well, oh, fun. Uh oh. <laughs> but now we have live audio. There's two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I want to mute that. Oh, wow. Some new things. Okay. What the heck? 
We have to. This. What is that? Laura. Oh, oh, it's okay. okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. Let's enter my study. Just fix it out. Hang on. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, oh, we've got two mics going, I think. No, speakers. And there's two. Add that one to the stage. Take that one away. I did. Muted. Okay. No. It's your speakers. Now oh. you're choppy. Um, I need to go to settings, and I need to go to audio. That and. I just want that. I don't know what happened. I don't know. But you don't want speakers on. I know I have them. There. This is what's up. There. No. I don't know what you did. All I didn't do anything. Yeah. I didn't do anything. No, she just turned it off, but she just didn't do anything. Why is there two of us? Bye, Shar. Bye, Shar. Sorry, it's disturbing. I know. I know. It's disturbing to me. I can the echo. I'll get it from here into the mic. That's why I say turn off those speakers. What speakers? The speakers on your computer. I don't know. There's eight people chuckling right now. I know there are. Yeah. Oh. There. Okay. Can you hear us? Now. Yes. Can you hear us? Uh, how about now? How about now? Freaky Deaky Friday. Yeah, that's right. Right. Okay. It's because I'm having wine. <laughs> okay. It's, I mean, it should be good now. I'm getting signal that we are. Yeah, sounds good. Teresa. Okay. Yay, Teresa, thank welcome, you. welcome. Thank you. She's been here. You have? Yeah. Well, I, I'm sorry. It's our young day. Good. Da -da -da. All righty. I'll have a drink, people. Have a big old sip. Mm -hmm. This week I brought wine. No vodka. I thought Just maybe wine. I should sneak back into a little bit of wine. Hmm. You can't drink too much wine. I can't drink more than two. Glass, glass up, you know, to the regular wine spot. Or, yeah, it's not the whole. Really, it's not. I it, that would be the whole bottle, right? Maybe half a bottle, because the next day I feel like such crap. And I don't want to do it. You get a. Is it the tannins in the red wine? I don't know. It's just whatever. Oh, it is. Teresa, that's awesome. Nothing like a good chat with the brandy. Ah. I like, yeah. I'm so excited to go see your freaking grandbabies. I can hardly stand it. Me too. We got pictures of them. Like last week, I think we showed you. Yeah, if there was some it's random so grandparents stage. Big, big growth in those kids. Yeah. I mean, my grandbaby that some of you may have remembered me always holding, he's five now, five and a half. Well, and Gabe is like, uh, I know. He is. Taller than Jennifer, and Jennifer, what six foot? <laughs> okay, yeah, she's ten. Jennifer's like five ten, but Gabe is like at least six foot, maybe more. I got measured today at my pre op. I'm five. Yours is two, oh, yeah. but it's close by. That's good. You can drive because I would uh, have to fly. Well, I could drive, but. <laughs> So, 
Are any of you familiar with Nashville? Been to Nashville? Live near Nashville? We are going to be in Nashville for just like a day. What can we do that's exciting and new? Come aboard. We're expecting you. No cruises in Nashville. No, there are river cruises. Oh. And How does it feel boats. to be retired? It feels really good. I wouldn't know. I mean, it does. I, I'm, I've spoiled myself. Now I have this cushy job I do at home, and I, I don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> She's like, I can't, yeah, just, like, you just can't get into it. Right. It's a job. You don't have to get into it. You just have to do it. But, yeah. Man. Seeing the traffic here. No, never been. Oh, my gosh. Come here. Yes, but the traffic you see, you see the traffic here. A two hour drive can take three. Oh my goodness, I have driven to Nashville. Grand offer would be fun. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that would be so cool. I wonder when they're not throwing a show if you could like take a tour, or just walk inside. Everybody wants to see the see it, but I can pay an arm and a leg. No, but. How often are we there? I have to look it up to see what the deal is. Yeah. yeah. I just want to drive by. I want to, I want to I, walk by. I want to walk by it too. I want to take my picture at the Grand Ole Opry. Yes. Walk up and down Broadway. Lisa and I had a great time. Broadway. Is that, is that, in, Nash is that in Nashville, Broadway? Oh, everybody knows. What is it? Parker? Oh, there. He's, he's mad. It must be dinner. Time. I think it's dinner time. You know? Music City Walk. Um, yes, and that I definitely want to do. Is that Broadway? I don't know. I know why he's doing this. Why? Because he eats at three o'clock, and we just changed the clocks, and now oh, it's so three. So it's three. Yeah. This time he's telling me it's time. To eat. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Late. Yeah. I know. It's just. It's just. I'm so excited to go. They have a tractor tour. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Yes, where the hunky dogs are. Yes. We'll That's go, what I we'll want. We'll go on do. a bark hole. They have bark holes too. <laughs> we're going to visit our uncle who's a minister, retired minister. But the thing, and we're taking the their car. We're taking their car. We're taking their car. To, uh, so no bark hole. No bark holes for us. No. He could drive. No. That's our cousin. Okay, you and Vicky can drink and I'll drink. Okay. I mean, seriously. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm a big talker, right? Then you drive. <laughs> I'll drive. But the thing is, she's going to have just had cataract surgery. And so on the 29th, she's having cataract surgery. How soon can you just get in the car and drive? They said I can work the next day. But can you drive? Just can you drive? I can drive. In 24 hours, they said. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put your name on the little car because you are not comfortable. No. Put both our names on. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, Teresa, we're going to Bucky's. Bucky. They put one for that. And we're excited about going to Bucky's. Yes. And, but in that, we want to see Music Row. We want to see the Grand Old Opry. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we're going to be driving. And we want to go to the Civil Rights Museum, which is very cool. I want to walk down that street. I do. Too. Too. Me too. And who I can run into? Jason. Some country western singer. That's right. Just like I want to see them all. Dan. I'm going to walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard and run into, you know, whoever. Oh, oh, Teresa. I want Bucky's I want Bucky's Nuggets. Oh, Teresa says my excited. daughter will be moving to North Tennessee in three years. Mm. Bucky's, I would love to go. We have them in North Florida. Never been on on Bucky's. Ah, yeah. Yes, on yeah. Leah's Bucky's list for sure. Laura's like, what's Bucky's? I'm like, what's Bucky's? I said, it is a destination. Yeah, I said, do they have candy? <laughs> she did. Do they have candy? I said, <laughs> you know why I, I said that? Because I picture bin, bins, candy. I'm sure they like, do. Like, you know, you scoop in and take it out. 
Yeah, we will That's be good about sure. blogging. I swear to you, I will be good. Too. Oh, I've already bought a new gimbal. My big, sure, my gimbal, my gimbal was broken, which is why it was really hard just to hold your camera. Yeah, I just so want to she, hold. She, I need to invest in the new Osmo Three Pocket and get that going, but I won't be open before my trip. Osmo Seven Hundred. What is the difference? It has a microphone. It has a big well, it has a microphone. Yours? No external. Oh, an external mic. Yeah. It comes with an external mic. It does come with an external mic. And while we're well, going, Dutch Bros for Mo. <laughs> Dutch Bros for Mo. It's the Bucky's and then the Dutch Bros for Mo. Uh, Dutch Bros out there. Go. There is one, a new one in the Tampa area. Our first one in Florida. Well, in North Florida, Teresa says there's one in North Florida. Um, Bucky, not Dutch. Oh, well, I thought it was on that one. She's on the wrong thing. No. Parker. He looks just like Toto. Come here. Parker, okay, you don't have to wait. He, he wants his food now. I mean, now. Parker is like, I'm going to get their attention no matter what, what I have to do. It. But I'm going to eat people. <laughs> I'm just with them. So I go, hey, what do you want, Parker? You want to eat? Okay, let's eat. There's 1,352 uh, guitar what? Uh, pickers. pickers. Pickers in Nashville. 1,352. Oh, wow. That's them all. Is that a song that sounds like a song? Why the Thirty thirteen hundred and fifty-two guitar pickers in Nashville. There's oh, some records. Is Sun Records in Nashville? I don't know. I know nothing. The original Sun Records. I want to see Sun Records. I mean, it, it's either there or Memphis, but I don't remember where. I'm along for the drive. Laura says I don't. She is the guide this time. I, I literally just the guide. Yes, we just moved our plain seats because we realized we were non reclining seats. Yeah, I love you know, those people that recline into somebody's desk. Absolutely. <laughs> we're going on a red eye. People aren't going to be. It's the in red there. eye. That's what I want to be able to just put my I seat back love in. Loving Spoonville. Oh, okay. So that is Nashville. a strong cat. 1,352 guitar pickers in Nashville. Is that the name of the song? I'm curious, really. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you. But yeah, I've never been. I'm excited to go. And then um, I'm going to be that crazy old lady on the street that dances around. And then I just stands. You know, I'm going to wear my somebody's head. random channel. Uh, They're going to go check out these old women. No, Dance. just check out the crazy women. Yeah, I know. Not that old. <laughs> <laughs> kind of middle age, oh. if you consider a hundred longevity. I'm above middle I'm age. Gonna have my red eyes after my seven a.m. flight on Sunday. That's where you're flying. Are you flying? Flying, flying. I. Am. We're all flying away. I'm flying away. Oh. Um. Yeah. We're, we're we're really a red eye. We are eleven. My only thing there. The oh, I know. It just automatically goes back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Automatic. You know, that's a good idea, Teresa. It's always embarrassing because I like to sit by the window. I bought a new neck pillow. Laura, Laura got one. And I had to get one. Yeah. And I am telling you, it's fabulous because nobody can take random pictures of me gaping with you know, the hood goes down to here so you pull it over yeah I, so you are just like invisible to, to invisible. yourself the, the 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 world is invisible yeah so when the when they come to you and tap honey we're here we've landed we've landed wake up it's time I'm to wake fine. up it's time to go yeah and i go okay yeah that will be already a roll what are you doing? I'm trying to find that picture that I sent you last night. Oh, yeah. 
I don't have my phone. It's plugged in on my bed. I don't know where I sent it, though, because, you know, that's me. Huh. You always pick the aisle seat, too? Oh, you girls. We pick the window and the <laughs> Because we don't have to go pee all the time. I do. Well, but, you know, that's... Just don't drink a lot of water. It doesn't matter with me. She has extra storage. I here's this. Here's my new neck pillow. You can't see and it. it has a hood. <laughs> I am modeling it. Nobody can see my face or my jewelry. When you first sent it, I was like, I had to figure out you were actually in it. Because, because there's your shoulders. Yes. yes. That's the only way I knew. I thought she was just taking a picture of the no, that's it. of the neck pillow. <laughs> Sitting on the back I, of her chair. Yeah, I love it. It's so comfortable. I slept with it last night. I am yeah, the Unabomber. I do look like the Unabomber. But it's comfortable and nobody can Come snap on. a photo of me. She doesn't trust me. No, because she's done it before. I can't seem to highlight this one. Because you, you are like done that. So. Then you should be more aware. I am not aware at all because <laughs> you've given me wine. No, it's you know, my I'm fault. I'm totally unaware. <laughs> but I do look like the Unabomber. And are you, you've got one just like it. I do. So I have a black one. Two Unabombers. Mine is even more Unabomber than yours because it's black. It's black. Yeah. You know, that's what Leah said earlier, Teresa. She said the aisle seat's good because you can kind of lean into you the aisle. lean into the aisle. But the window is always good because you can lean into the window. That's true. Either I way, seat. no, we're going to switch. If that's the whole beauty of it. You and I can switch when we want to. The poor person on the aisle will just have to scoot out. Right? Yeah. We're like, excuse me, because I'm they're in the aisle. aisle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're in the aisle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am so excited. I have not flown in my new skin. So I'm excited for that. Hmm. Not to open the door. No, yes. I think Halloween will take care of that. Well, you saw yeah. last week or so. Oh, some crazy. guy tried to tried to open the door, and they had to tackle him to the floor. Oh, great! That's good. That's mm -hmm. why we moved back. We moved from to the because the, the aisle seat you was were right in, in back. Was, yeah, the exit wall was right. Yeah, the not the aisle seat. The exit, yeah. but it was really because it didn't recline. Yeah, I was. It doesn't recline. Yes, it doesn't recline. And what is reclining on an airplane? About it doesn't much? matter. It makes a difference, doesn't it? It just does. It does. It, it does. does. It does. But <laughs> it's, it's a red eye, and I've never flown a red eye, so I don't know if they just like turn the lights off and not yes. serve you peanuts. They turn the lights off, but they still serve you peanuts. If if you want it, you well, have they, to be away. Right. Wake but up! I got to try to do some. Maybe I'll have a cocktail right off, straight off. Oh, before we get on the plane, we'll just sit down at the bar and have a couple. Well, of course, I mean, we're not driving we're or anything, right? right? That's what I say. I My always eat a gummy be before I fly. Just saying. I mean, you guys, if you if you don't have to drive anywhere, it's the best. take care of that anxiety. It, yes, I would have a gummy, but you try to kill me with them. So, well, I think I gave you the wrong kind. I don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Did I get? Oops. Oops. Sorry. What? Sorry, you're having a heart attack. Who's having a heart attack? Me. I did. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fly high. Uh, yep. I, yeah. That's, what, that's the only way. I will to go. have a cocktail, and that'll do it for me. Just one. I'll have a shot or something. So a yeah. Shot, so shot. what time do we get to, to Dallas Fort Worth? Do we leave it at 11.59, five-ish? And then we have two hours. It's about a four-hour, three-and-a-half hour. I think I've, I've done it a lot, but I don't, I don't know. Because the time changes. It's like it's three confusing something. and it's mind-boggling. But it's a me. long time. I mean, you know, fall asleep is good. Well, after my cocktail, I will sleep. And then are we going to have another cocktail? when we On the plane. No, wait. When we get to Dallas, we're, we're going to... Bar, we this is my question because I've never flown. In the, I haven't flown in years. The last time I flew was the charter plane off of the Grand Princess. 
which there was no bar. Let's just say there were no peanuts and no bar. <laughs> they didn't give us a sack much. And they the gave us a good squishing is what they did. Yeah, they gave us a bag yeah. of food. Oh, yeah, they, anyway, gave us sandwich, sandwich. they gave us a sandwich. Yeah. And uh, don't get me started on that. Yeah. All night. But in the middle of the night, when you're in an airport, are there facilities that are open like the bar? Or do they have a 2 a.m. rule? I think they have a rule. But yeah, I don't know if it's 2 a.m. I'm not sure. Because I do remember passing by bars early in the morning, leaving in the morning, like when the red eyes are going right. in, and the bars were closed. Does anybody know? Like at 3, mm -hmm. 4 a.m. or 5 Dallas time, are the bars open? <laughs> I'm laughing. A chartered flight sounds so extravagant. Oh, Mo said. Does it? So it extravagant you even not as not as no let's just change it not, no it you not a charter plane it was a prison plane even the steward what is that con air? Entire it was con air. did you see that movie con air that's what it was. i don't know all that i was remember is huge in mainland and got next plane yeah or way on the way home or later only 45 minutes but in a way that we have a two-hour layer they are so excited to have a bit of food. Going to take it any longer. He's trying to rile up the other dogs to bark. Yay. He's like, "Come on, let's riot! Let's!" You have to wait like at least ten minutes. <laughs> no, we've only got another. It doesn't matter. He still has to wait because the food has to be prepared. Because I have to prepare. It's literally, oh. Arthur, who never makes a sound, right? Like on a rampage. If I go get up, I was going to go get up. Show you the food that this lady makes for her three girls. It's like it's like the most interesting concoction of food, but there's no meat in it. It's just all like grains and maybe I don't know. I they have to go get it. Stay here. You're starting a riot. Yeah, we're gonna get So yeah, I need to know. I mean, because we land like at 4 a.m. or something in Dallas. We have a two-hour layover. I want mimosas with my breakfast. My cousin's going to pick us up at the airport. Security will probably have to bring us through. No. Wait. Oh, God. Here it comes. Which one's growling? It's Parker. It's Parker. This is a Parker's food. Everybody brings their own food for their dog. Okay. This just came up. Now, it looks like it might have a little bit of meat. It looks like a rice casserole. But it has, like, grains, all kinds of grains. That's not healthy. Well, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Maybe People make their dog food for them. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Moose. Moose Lodge. I you dodged your bullet at Miss Moose Lodge. Where? Right here. Hello, lovely ladies. Hi. We think often cruise, of yes. It's been four so years to be on your eventful cruise. You should go. So was Miss Smitty. Was supposed to be on that one too. You were supposed to be on that cruise. Cancelled and have never regretted that uh, yet. You know, after all of this time, I actually sat down and watched our lives, not the ones, not the vlogs, but I watched the lives that we did from the ship, mm -hmm. and just watching from the beginning lives. Throughout just when we thought we were going to get locked down, to throughout when we got locked down, before we, we were just and we were just floating, and, just, and, and then having to go all the way all of those live streams up to even in um, we did them even in Miramar. Yeah, there's I, so much more that what I did, I had forgotten that we, we talked have, about a waste. Come on, it's so ways. weird. It really yeah. wasn't fun. I mean, it was fun what we made of it, but I mean, you could totally look at it a different way. You totally could. It's like this isn't fun. It at wasn't all. fun. I mean, For I literally anybody. There, you know on Facebook your memories pop up, and I copied and pasted it and sent it to Laura. I go, this was my post. And right. I, like, I think I had a nervous breakdown yesterday, and I literally did. I think have a nervous breakdown, David. Yeah. Says Leah. David, hi, David. 
<laughs> you popped in. You got yeah. here. And and it's time it, to it go. It's time to go. Now it's time to say goodbye. It's crazy, Moose Lodge. I'm, I'm telling you. Fenced in. We were fenced in. We were just like. It was crazy. I'm glad you changed your mind on that cruise. Oh, absolutely. I'm yeah. so glad you did. Yeah. I felt so bad. Like I mean, I, I just felt bad because we were, had such a big balcony. We couldn't invite any of the inside cabins over. That was lady, like, I posted on Facebook um, a our former president speaking on how he wanted to keep us on the ship because he didn't want his numbers to go up. And the person that posted that on Facebook, I mean, on, originally on YouTube, I messaged, you know, I put, I put a comment on her video because she had posted that. Mm -hmm. She said I was one of the four Australians, which we, they were on our, yes, one of the balcony people on our, our balcony side. people. Yes. yes, they were Australians. I oh. remember going, we're from Australia. Okay. We had the balcony people on our side of the ship. It was so, I mean, there was moments like that that were just fun. I mean, you, you, you had, had to you just pick them, moment. pick them out, just like pick those them moments. Out. Pick them out, pick them out, and then let that be the most important thing instead yeah. of that other stuff because it really could have made you like go crazy, crazy. super crazy. It and it did leave a little bit. Yeah, well, once we got to the mm -hmm. But yeah, anyway, it's but time it, to go. it was time to go. <laughs> but the lovely lady, if you're watching this, that was from Australia, we had we shared wine with our neighbors. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, pick those those kind of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Major, what, David, make sure you tell Miss Patty happy birthday. Oh, okay. I oh, will. Okay. Our mammo tech. I will. Well, I know her. Yeah. <laughs> she squished me a couple of times. A few times. All right, you guys, we love you, and we hope you have a fantastic weekend and a happy St. Patty's Day. Not too many Irish car, car bombs, for you guys. Please be safe. If you do, don't drive. We love you, and we'll see you real soon. Until next time.